Welcome into Tighten Up Trivia. I am Austin Huff. That is Jack Gentry. We're the host of the Tighten Up Podcast, heard on the A to Z Sports Podcast Network. This is a tight. This is a Titans trivia game by Titans fans for Titans fans. We want to see which one of you guys or who out there is a Myron Roll or Ryan Fitzpatrick for Titans trivia. Don't be a Derrick Henry or Vince Young. No. Now, some of these spaces may look familiar, but let's get reacquainted with our competitors. So first up, we got Ballin. 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 My man. Ballin. I love it. Uh, Ballin. Tell us, um, let's see here. Uh, why don't you tell us your favorite uh, Titans, Titans memory and hit a, let everyone know where people can find you on social media. All right, my favorite Titans memory, there's two of them. They're both against the ugly, ugly Jaguars. A few years ago, that 86-yard – that was at that 3-13 and 13 year where that 86-yard run by Mariota, uh, that was in t insane. That yes. – he took off like, holy cow. He, our quarterback just ran 86 yards. Um, and then uh, Derrick Henry's 99-yard uh, yeah, run against the Jags uh, was fortunate. I mean, fortunate – Fortunately, I am a season home, so it was in the stadium for both. Um, nice. It was pretty crazy. You guys can find me on Twitter at Ballin K Ali. Nice. And everyone, everyone, if you if you know of any other Titans fans, give them a follow. Let's grow the Titans online community because it needs to be grown, and uh, we need to we need more camaraderie on the internet. That's right. And CJ has a great social media handle too. We'll get to in a second. But first, what's your favorite Titans memory? You know, I thought about it, and I had, obviously, the Music City Miracle notwithstanding, but I chose something from 2006, Okay, a trip to Houston, Texas, where Vince Young, in overtime, his 39-yard touchdown run, had everybody in the stadium cheering, even, and most especially, Houston Texans fans who were probably thinking, why didn't we draft this guy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. That's a play where, where I, I remember where I was that day. That was awesome. CJ, where can oh, yeah. uh, people find you on social media? Well, I said this last week and I stand by it on, on Twitter, um, Facebook, uh, Instagram at C Jizzleman. Well, CJ right. Ecke on Facebook, at C Jizzleman on Twitter and Instagram. So All right. that's where you can find this future broadcaster. I <laughs> and tell Buck if he's looking for an extra voice for his show, I, I'm the guy. I tell you what, I mean, these. you're going you're gonna to make a great broadcaster just with the, by the fact that you can say see Jizzle Man without <laughs> cracking a smile. That's, uh, that's the rule number one of broadcasting, so I love it. Uh, all right, so CJ, ball in. Let's uh, get to know our rules. Here's how the game will break down. Each player will be given their own four questions worth one point each. You will have 16 seconds to answer these questions. Those 16 seconds, of course, are reminiscent of how much time was left on the clock for the Music City Miracle. If a player doesn't know the answer and they think it's hard enough to where their opponent won't know the answer, they can kern them and punt the question to their opponent. If the opponent doesn't know the answer, the player who kerned he or she will get the point. If he or she does know the answer, they will be awarded the point. Each contestant is limited to just one kern per game. After the four questions, Questions, players will be given a fifth question, which will serve as a final jeopardy, where players can wager however many points they have. In the event of a tie, we will have a tiebreaker question that will determine the winner. All right, guys, you have any questions for us? Nope. Very good. All right. All right. Well, then, um, you know, I believe, uh, <laughs> I believe it was, I, I believe it was the great Britney Spears who once said, "Let's tighten up." I got nothing better. I sorry. I I should have written something down. I should have come up with something. Uh, wow. All right, <laughs> Ballin, your first quarter question is a numbers game. You ready for this? Yeah. Hold on. I gotta go get a piece of paper. Hold on. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Paper chasing. We'll wait here. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, you're good. Ball, hey. don't lie. You just wanted everyone to see your whole your yeah. Whole background. We just showing off his tailgate. Yeah. That that was the whole point. <laughs> All right. Numbers game. Ball in. Corey Davis subtracted by Ben Jones equals this 
current Titan. One more time. Corey Davis subtracted by Ben Jones equals this current Titan. Kenny Vaccaro. Kenny Vaccaro is the guess. Ooh, and I'm sorry, but Kenny Vaccaro is the answer. <laughs> Ballin's got one an- one point to his name. Boy, you have me you have me concerned for a second. Like, what? <laughs> Do we get a noon over 24? No, I, I won't allow that to happen. All right, <laughs> CJ, you got to tie it up here. The twin was this twin was drafted in the sixth round of the 2009 draft and has since collected a Super Bowl ring since leaving the Titans. Who is this player? You know, I'm kind of upset that he had success after he left Nashville. Oh, I'm always we'll get, upset when that we'll get, we'll get to that later. But I'm going to talk about Jason McCourty, mm-hmm. the six-round pick out of Rutgers. That's right. Uh, yeah, that is right. Uh, Jason McCourty is the answer. We're one-to-one. We're going to the second quarter with Austin and Ballin. All right, Ballin, second quarter. This Titans pass rusher was named Defensive Rookie of the Year after being taken in the first round out of Florida. He made three Pro Bowls in his first three seasons with the team before leaving for the Eagles. Again, Titans pass rusher named Defensive Rookie of the Year after being taken in the first round out of Florida. He made three Pro Bowls in three seasons before leaving the team for the Eagles. Who am I describing? Curse. Javon freaking curse. The freaking there is important because that's also doubles as his nickname. That is correct. Javon curse. Okay. CJ. Guy you, looks you like, like he can, guy looks like like he can still that. play. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, he, yeah. A little bit. Uh, okay. Well, you've got a chance to tie it up again. This former Titan not only racked up 1,000 receiving yards with the team in 2013, but also clipped the 1,500 yard mark in his senior year helping lead Robert Griffin III to a Heisman Trophy. Okay. He came from an offense that really didn't have much of a playbook. So to have a 1,000-yard season in year two makes Kendall Wright a very impressive receiver and one of the legions of Titans who were hurt by Ken Wisenhunt's hire a few months later. Yeah, Ken Wisenhunt did not do many people well, that's for sure. CJ, I feel like you're showboating because Kendall Wright's right, and (laughs) you just made everyone who is watching this ten times smarter for knowing that. Yeah, and and, uh, back on Ken Wisenhunt, he did not make uh, my life any better uh, either, Uh, and I'm just a fan. All right, guys, it's halftime. Scores tied up two to two. Ballin and CJ tied up. Let's get to know our halftime rules. Now we have reached halftime. We will enter a 53-second halftime in honor of Keith Bullock, of course, for each player to physically prove their Titans fandom for an extra point in the game. Each player will be required to find the best piece of Titans memorabilia in their house and bring it back to the screen before time runs out. Could be a piece of clothing, a framed picture, or even Vic Chung's shoulder pads. Whatever you think is best, bring it back within the 53 seconds. If a player does not make it back in time, they will not be eligible for the point. This is the only part of the game which is left up to judges' discretion. The best piece of memorabilia will get an extra point added to their score. A point that could be crucial for determining today's winner. And they're off. Ballin they disappears off. into the tailgate. Ballin's, yeah, I think Ballin's just <laughs> grabbing a beer out of the cooler back there. <laughs> He's, he had someone, hey, beer me. <laughs> All right, we have a mini oh, helmet. Okay, signed all right. By somebody. He's got a mini helmet. Seems and, like it's uh, signed by a... Maybe a player that was an answer here. Got 30 yeah. seconds for CJ. CJ, let us know whenever you're ready, since you were technically still on screen. You good? I am good. All right. So, uh, Ballin, we'll go ahead and start with you. Uh, you got a signed mini helmet. What, what? Tell us about it. Got a signed mini helmet that I got when the freak actually played for the Titans when I was a kid. Um, I went to training camp with uh, my dad and got this bad boy signed by Javon the Free Curse. Nice. Pretty nice. good. I, Strong. I, I've got a quick hot take for this re- real quick. I think the Titans should go back to the white helmets. I love the white helmets. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I know a lot of people love the navy blue, but I loved the whites. With, uh, with the, from the navies look sick. And that is that is actually a fair point. The, 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 they do complement the new uniforms very, very well, the navy blues. CJ, 
What, uh, what do we got from you for your piece of Titans memorabilia? Well, this week is more than likely not as impressive as last week, but I do have like 77 of these classic LP field lanyards that are yes. really outdated now. So. Right. Yeah, I think that was two. Was that one, maybe two uh, uh, sponsors ago for the stadium? <laughs> Something like that. I just wish that they would go back and nickname it the Coliseum again. Oh, because that was so – I like that. That is the hill that our podcast is willing to die That's on. Right. Call it – rename it Nissan Coliseum. We will always – in fact, that's the only thing we refer to it as. We only call it – we don't call it Nissan Stadium on our podcast. We call it Nissan Coliseum. So we, we agree with that take. We're on, your, we're, on, we're on that same page. Okay, now it's time to figure out who won this halftime. For me, I do like the LP field, the history in the LP field, although the history there was pretty terrible. <laughs> very sad. The teams were bad that played in LP. Yeah, yeah. Ballin had the freak. He had, he'd assigned the freak helmet. One of his answers was the freak. It actually was the second question before halftime. Follows it up with a strong halftime. Look, for me, I'm going with Ballin. The, uh, an autograph from the freak is good, right? That, that's that's good enough to win here. Right. And I think back to uh, the freak breaking the rookie sack record with the disc scratch record breaking uh, sack celebration. I love the freak. Uh, Ballin, I'm gonna get, we're going to give you the point, my man. So you've got three points now. So the score is Ballin three, CJ two, heading in to the second half. And since it is halftime, we will flip the field. So CJ, you will be given the uh, – you will be read the questions first in the second half. Okay. All right, chance to nod it up at three apiece. Harold Landry subtracted by Dion Lewis equals this current Titan. We're playing a little numbers game. Harold Landry subtracted by Dion Lewis equals this current Titan. Um, years ago, we talked about Bo knowing, and I think he wanted to be like Bo. So Adoree Jackson is our answer because of his Twitter handle, at Adoree Knows. That's true. He's good on Twitter. I, I, I see things that he likes just roll across my timeline, and I laugh all the time. It's, it's hilarious. Um, Adoree Jackson, it's correct. Yes, that's, that's right. Three to three, just like Deion Lewis. Nice. <laughs> nice. Don't talk around here no more. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> speaking of, yeah, speaking of Twitter, he's probably busy blocking people on there right now. All right, so <laughs> Ballin, your third quarter question. This former Titans receiver played for the Broncos and the Jets before spending his final year of his career in a Titans uniform in 2017. Who is this player? Again, this former Titans receiver played for the Broncos and the Jets before spending his final year of his career in a Titans uniform in 2017. Eric Decker. Eric Decker is the guess. And Eric Decker is correct. So, balling four points after three quarters of play. Got to admit, I forgot about Eric Decker. Got to admit. <laughs> well, yeah. I wish I could forget about Eric Decker. And yeah, and please <laughs> tell us your secret. <laughs> Uh, playoff game. What? Yeah. Well, yeah. that playoff game right. notwithstanding, that was – Yeah. I had my head hitting the roof, but, yeah. He also liked to talk bad about Marcus Mariota, which we we will not stand idly no. by and let happen. No, oh, no Marcus slander. No okay. No Marcus slander. We're in the fourth quarter, so this question is going to be a little tricky. Yeah, put your fours up. Um, Here we go. CJ, where did Dennis Kelly play his college ball? Where did Dennis Kelly play his college ball? You have a Kern. Feel free to use it. You also have 16 seconds, and that starts now. I am going to use the Kern this time. Because you I'm don't use know the where Kern. Dennis Kelly played his the college Kern. ball? How could you not know this? <laughs> the Kern has been used. Mm. All right, All right. Where did Where did Dennis Kelly play his college ball? Played at a Big Ten school, Purdue Boilermakers. Purdue Boilermakers is the guess. It's the home of Neil Armstrong as well. Purdue Boilermakers is correct. So, ball in. Five Boiler points. Up. Boiler up. Hammer down with five points. CJ, uh, you have three. So, he stole that point. Ball in. Time now for your fourth quarter question. Where did Dane Crookshank attend college? Again, where did Dane Crookshank attend college? 
He played in the Pac-12 school, Arizona Wildcats. Arizona Wildcats is the guess. Say what, Ballin knows his college. That, his that's college like Austin is, Stanley level good right there. That, the correct answer, Arizona Wildcats, uh, the home of uh, Robert Gronkowski. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm just trying to think of famous right, alums in yeah, Arizona. Steve Kerr. Oh, you're right. <laughs> so, Dan Kirkshank went to Arizona. So, the score after regulation, Ballin has five. CJ, you have four. We're going now into overtime. Actually, five, CJ's three. three. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I wrote down. Sorry. It's six to three. Excuse me. I wrote down. I'm not good with numbers. Uh, The numbers game is not for me. So ball in has five CJ three heading now into our six. six, six. Ball in has six. (laughs) Ball in has six. CJ has three heading into overtime. Now uh, is, a, is when we reach our final Jeopardy part of the game. So, Ballin, you can wager as many as six points. CJ, you can wager as many as three. So go ahead and write down on your sheets of paper how many points you would like to wager and circle it, and let us know when you are ready for the question. All right, a little strategy here with CJ still in reach if the, the cards align. What, write, it what, down, don't, write it down. Write it down. Write it down. Write it down. What, what is that? What, what are we doing here, Ballin? Yeah. I thought we took a – Oh, we took a break for you to get a piece of paper. What, what happened to that? <laughs> yeah, what happened to the- <laughs> <laughs> What happened to the sheet of paper, Paul? <laughs> All right. All right. He's back. All right. So number and circle it. Oh, no, don't show. Don't show us yet. Don't show us yet. <laughs> don't show us. We can't see it anyways. We can't see it with the, yeah, with the backdrop. All right. Here we go. Let's get back on the rails. <laughs> Paulin has six points. CJ has three. Ballin. Uh, or guys, here is your question, Jack. I have a feeling you guys both might know this one. We've seen uh, y'all, y'all flex your muscles a little bit on this on this episode. Who is the Titans' long snapper? Bum bum bum. Paul oh, Brinkley. No, hey, Paulin. Keep it to yourself. Oh. Paulin, <laughs> you write it down. This is the portion of the game where you write it on the piece of paper. Ballin has the short-term memory, but he also remembers Eric Decker, so I don't know. Maybe the, he'd be a good case for, like, a brain study, a Titans I, brain I study. think Ballin needs to put I was on a that. former football player, so CTE. Ballin, <laughs> oh, yeah, Ballin needs to put on that mini helmet that he showed us. <laughs> he needs to wear that around. <laughs> okay. Where'd you play, hey, where'd you play at? Uh, played at Hillsboro, yeah, I played at TSU. Oh, TSU? Go Tigers, yeah. go Tigers. Okay, interesting. I'm actually I was actually doing play by play for TSU basketball this year before COVID shut everything down. Yeah. TSU is where uh Jonathan Joseph's wife went. It's yep. true. <laughs> TSU is the reason why Jonathan Joseph is here. That's right. So, and for All that right. we thank you. Joseph's wife actually went to my high school as well. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Hillsboro High. Yeah. Are wait, are you a Hang on, Ballin. Yep. Are you Jonathan Joseph's wife? <laughs> <laughs> is that no, that would be breaking news <laughs> yeah i'll say it definitely would be state champions right here got the scoop here first on the tighten up trivia okay guys uh ball in or no cj we'll start with you since you're trailing let's first see how many points you wagered Go big three oh, points man. all in all in for cj cj now let's see what answer you put I gave him the answer. <laughs> Bo Brinkley is the guess. Okay. Now, Ballin, let's see how many points you wagered. I don't know. Can you tell? Let's get yeah, get close. Yep, there it is. Six. Oh, you wagered them all. Went all in. Wow. And Ballin, let's see your answer. Bo, uh, Bo Brinkley. Bo, Bo Brinkley. Brinkley is the guess. All right, Jack. Hit him with the answer. Well, has Ballin... Screamed aloud for all to hear. Bo Brinkley is the correct answer here. That means Ballin doubles his points, gets up to 12. CJ doubles his, gets to six. Guys, it was a good game. Two heavyweights going at it. Really good to have you guys here. Very impressive. Titans fans, make sure to follow these two on social media. Yes, yes. Uh, Ballin, we'll see you in the next round. CJ, I, I, uh, maybe we'll see you like at, uh, at that Shoney's across the street from uh, <laughs> Nissan Coliseum. I don't know. 
Maybe I will, we'll, we'll see you somewhere. I can promise you that we'll, it will be somewhere and we will enjoy it. <laughs> Should basketball season come back, catch me on ESPN plus streaming TSU sports. Oh, okay. 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 There you go. I'll tune in for that. So then right, we, yeah. we will definitely, we will definitely see you. All right, guys, before we go, can I get one last tighten up from each of you? Tighten up. Tighten up boys. Nice.